The following videos will help you better understand how to use your Vapore Ecological Vapor Cleaning System and as a result be more effective and efficient in your cleaning. It is important to remember that the surfaces which can be cleaned are not limited to the videos seen here. They are, however, some of the more common uses found around the home. Once you understand the power and capability of your system, your imagination will be the only limit to what you can clean. Upon opening the box of your machine, you will find the Vapore system, a variety of accessories, and an instruction manual. Users are strongly encouraged to read the manual and all safety warnings outlined in it before using any Vapore system. All videos are to be used as a complement to this manual. Optional accessories can also be purchased from your local point of sale. We begin with a look at the included accessories and description of their uses. The hose of the Vapore D30 is not detachable. The accessories included with the Vapore D30 are large brushes for all surfaces, for example, floors, walls, and ceilings, triangular brush for smaller surfaces such as countertops, shower, bath, mattresses, upholstery, coats or jackets, car interior, and much more. The 120-degree nozzle with 1-inch nylon brush for detailed cleaning such as grout, toilets, drains, faucets, stovetops, stain removal, window, and door tracks as well as two extension poles. On your machine, you will find a main power switch, a vapor-ready light, missing water light, and pressure gauge. The system is turned on and off using the main power switch. The vapor-ready light will indicate when the boiler has reached its maximum pressure and the system is ready to be used. This light will turn on and off during use as it indicates when the heating elements turn on and off. The missing water light will indicate when it is time to add more water to the machine. The pressure gauge gives the user an approximate reading of the pressure building in the boiler. To begin using the Vapore system, unscrew the safety cap on top of the unit and fill the boiler with the necessary amount of regular tap water indicated in the instruction manual. Replace the safety cap and tighten it by hand. Plug in the system and push the main switch to the on position. The switch will light up indicating the system is on. Allow 10 to 15 minutes for the Vapore system to heat up, at which point the vapor ready light will illuminate. After each fill up, it is necessary to purge the system of any air that may have entered the boiler during the filling procedure. Aim the hose into a sink or towel and simply squeeze the trigger on the hose handle for approximately 15 seconds or until vapor begins to flow from the hose. Release the trigger and allow the system to reheat and for the ready light to turn on a second time. This will take approximately one minute. You are now ready to begin. Rinsing out the boiler is the only maintenance necessary for the Vapore system and to prevent problems associated with the normal formation of calcium and mineral deposits inside the boiler. Do not use vinegar or any other substances to rinse out the boiler. Simply use clean water. Once every two to three weeks, or more often depending on use, when the machine is cold, you will fill the boiler with clean water, shake it, and empty it. You will see the calcium come out with the water. Continue the same procedure of adding water and emptying it until the water comes out completely clear. Systems with a safety cap must be completely depressurized before the cap can be opened and water added to the system. When the missing water light turns on, the heating elements are automatically shut off, enabling you to continue working without the heating elements on. Continue working with the boiler's residual pressure until no vapor comes out of the hose and the needle on the pressure gauge reaches zero. Turn off the unit and unplug it. Unscrew the safety cap slowly and allow any residual heat to dissipate. Slowly refill the system with hot water to avoid drastic contrasts in temperature. Replace the safety cap, tighten it by hand, plug the system back in and turn the unit back on. The heating phase will take approximately 10 minutes due to the boiler already being hot. Water can be added to continuous fill models whenever needed due to access to the cold water reservoir. Should the reservoir be empty, an audible beeping will be heard in combination with the illumination of the appropriate light signal.